Hey guys, welcome back to a new game. Woo! I love new games. It is the Town So. Now this is not a PS4 game. It is a PC game, and I'm very excited to play it. Because it's my first PC game, and Gigi Dab recommended it to me, and she said it was very, very, very good. But the ending was disappointing, which saddens me. But we'll play it. And guys, I just want to say. Uh, enjoy this series and hope you stay with me till the end. Let's do it and investigate. Right, so the save one was just me testing it out the first time. Right, so save two, let's do it. Settings, let's so check them quickly. Subtitles are on. Uh, oh, that's fine. I no, don't need to see the credit shit. Ah, let's do. Woo, I'm excited. Use a dodo and Alexa to remove your net of alterations. Okay. Makes sense. Well, I don't know what a dodo and Alexa is, but we'll do it. So, guys, this game I think set in the 17th century. France. Paris. December 10th. 1792. See? 17th century. Well, really, it's the 18th century, but let's not get confused and all that. <clears throat> Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borchert. You know, I can't feel the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. <laughs> That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. Oh, if you really? touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. Wow, that's a bit classy. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. Like what? You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Did we? Where have you hidden it? Von Borchert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, shut it, Baldy. Uh, Ouch. Stop annoying our host, Louis. Me. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? What happened to me in Rome? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. I know a bit of Rome. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. Wow. Okay. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Really? Von Borchard! Von Borchard! Hmm? Listen! Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. Save your ass. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Alright. Let me do this. Oh, trust her. Trust me. Wait, right, and don't you trust her, personally? Why would I not trust Please my own mother? Be my guest, mother. Mm. There we go. Ah. Oh. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. 
How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Why? Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Don't say that to you. Come on, let's Why go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. Don't, you never say that to a woman. I thought ever. Well, she saved our asses from Von Borchardt. Alright. So who's Lord Mortimer? One month later, January 20th, 1793. Lord Mortimer's Island. So I don't even find that out. Here we go, guys. I'm excited. It's a good head. It's a good introduction. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditched me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing She's on his messing? private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Wow, she went missing? Has she been kidnapped? The mad ones, okay. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Wow, boobies. Look at his size. Well now, Duchess. We find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Uh, I'm not going to tell him the personal reason, so business... Lord, Lord Mortimer, Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. Oh, really? And only a very few ever make it. I'm honored, Indeed, then. I imagine this must be your first time here. Absolutely. That's right. Until now, I've never been invited by Lord Mortimer. You, you won't soon forget it. Given what I've seen so far, I wish I'd been passed over. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A right. cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. They probably if are. I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Wait a minute. Mm. You call that a suit? <clears throat> are you alright? <sighs> no split? <sighs> Wow, okay. Was he a drug addict? Mother? Oh shit. Whoa. Your what hand. the hell? What's up with your hand? So? Wait a minute, that's a duchess. Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. 
I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm what sure. What happened to you? Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother, no, don't, don't! What? Wait, wait, what? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. Wait a minute. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. Oh, no. No, sir. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you what, will What is it that she's doing down. here? <sighs> if she's dead? <sighs> Is it like a dose? You. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes! I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. Okay. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? All right, Emily Houseboro. I absolutely need to Duchess. find your mother. Can I examine these? No. Maybe I can later. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? All right. So diplomat, the diplomat shines in society, a talented speaker, he avoids food pan, he can convince those with whom he's talking without offending them. Uh, the tortoise is a master of deception, to convince her the importance of knowledge, he has the tired the sense of experience, the science and the arts. The detective excels in its investigation, he is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from approach. I'm not personally though with detectives because I find it more interesting. So uh okay. Really? I can't do any more? Alright, fine. Well, over the last few years I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that torture their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm That's flattered me. that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me. Emily. I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Uh, not at all. I'm sorry. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for Chama. yourself rather elegantly. Please, stop torching me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? Nope. Don't remember. No? Uh, I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Alright. Opportunities. Your cells allow you to discover hidden details. Show the object that is most su suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. Alright. 
If I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Personality. Each person you meet in the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain cells in the moon to others. Exploiting their personality is critical to achieve your personal goals. Cells use the dens and humanities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploiting vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Well, she shot her, Louis, so... Yeah. Uh, talent. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review the unlocked conditions and effects as they offer very improving, uh, interesting improvements. Alright. So let's have a look. There was some glittering things here. Royal Jelly. Royal Jelly was those two effort points. You did not tally more than five. Great. Honey. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Yeah. Right, more royal jelly. Always nice to have, though. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis, Louis de Richet. Maurras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost yes, to find your I mother am. as quickly as possible. Uh, how, what do you know about my mother? What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured, I bet you have. we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island. And regularly changing her location. Why though? But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Lights? Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, None of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Uh, souls. The souls have you access to unique choices and actions at the toss the effort points. The higher your soul level, the lower the toss does. Uh, and did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S-D-R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Uh, can I have it? Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well... I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. I... And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. Yeah. I must return. Uh... It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. What okay. He it was is helpful. Indeed your handkerchief, Mother. He must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Right, so look for clues up on your mother. A 
sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Was that a pool? Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Teeth it. It might handy. just come in handy. <laughs> yeah. So, why is Sarah doing this? Why is my mother doing this? It's weird. Some rope. Apparently, no one's touched for a good long time. Oh, we infested it the letters now. Let's see what's hidden inside. Uh. Ah, one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I recognize your handwriting anywhere, Mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend, Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, hmm. always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? Uh, politics is lot, dud damn it. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But, just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. I bet she's got a lot to tell you too. Right, look for more clues or don't in the manor. I'm going to look for more clues, personally. So, I hope that's okay. Oh, hello. This looks interesting. A wooden floorboard. Judging by the splinters of the wood, this floorboard has been ripped up. Yet it was in decent condition. I wonder why someone ripped it up. Is it the mother? What's the point of doing this? It probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Alright. Tied it, tied it in here with the bar. Locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Nice. Oh my god, you're so weak, Louis. Clearly, I'm not much for manual labor. Let's see if I can get it open another way. Though. All right. There we are. There better be something in here. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Right, I'm confused. Doesn't it mean... Great, honey. See if she was armed, wouldn't that make her more dangerous? Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Aha. Uh -huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. It's okay. unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. 
Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly. Amber fragments. You found an amber fragment. Each time you pick up four of them, you increase your maximum effort points by one. Amber crystals. Cool. Right, so we found uh, some clues. Not a lot, but a done taste and something else. Looks like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. We'll have one more look just to see. And then we'll need to move on. Why is this so glowing? Let's see what's hidden inside. Let's look. Alright, there's a lot. Let's see this one. It's too badly written, I, I can't make out the address. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. Address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Hmm. A letter written in an Oriental language. Like Latin? I have the slightest idea what it says. Is that what it's like? Like Latin? Alright. Right, let's go to the manor. And meet this Lord Mortimer character. Latin inscription. And Nessis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus vergatur. Well, I can't translate. Right, uh, how do I get back on it then? Maybe that's what I wanted. Uh, to Tarita. Inventory. I've got an iron bar. Alright. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? With a lot of money. It's very fancy. It's very Ojin Wee. Wow, that is quite scary though. And it's meant to be sus. Whoa. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. Hey, Piaggi. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Ricci, aren't you? You yes. see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope, but I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Right. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Right, confrontations. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as precise persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. 
I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I yes. shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She wow. has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Uh, My mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, you can trust me. <laughs> My child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother work for a secret society. It would seem that discretion is not one of your specialities, my son. You will understand that it does not encourage no. me to put my trust in you. Shit. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, <laughs> I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Uh. Only you know that, Your Eminence. If you're asking me if you can trust me, or if I can keep a secret, I would answer yes, absolutely. I understand. In truth, it all depends on the nature of the contents of your letter. It is a list of names. This list must be of extreme importance. Ah, if only you knew. It's a list of people that your mother must help. Listen to me, my children. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother Confrontation last step. For the last step of confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you have a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you have a right one or you have no blunders left. Right, so positive. I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Yes. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Ricci. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, yes. the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. 
hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden, some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. The the Yay, Piadi's letter. I saw it. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each test, you can choose what to read and deem permanent cell points. <laughs> I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Who are you? Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President George Washington? of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, nice. Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. Mm. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. Oh. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do <laughs> any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Lord Mortimer asked me to drop everything and come find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. Yeah, it's not your fault. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Uh... Good Lord, Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent Whoa. case has delayed our host, you? Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. And now.
now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't uh, take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Well, home might not know anything about my mother, so I'm gonna say and listen to Washington. Let's see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. You're welcome. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Uh... Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy, and is advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the Order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear, without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Yeah. Mr. Washington. You seem to be very familiar with my mother. When did you last speak to her? Philadelphia. Fifteen years ago. Sarah often went back and forth between France and the United States. Yes, I remember those days. I didn't see her too often. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Guys, I'm going to leave it there, so I think my time's running out, and I'll return in part two, and we'll resume this conversation. See you there. Bye. I hope you enjoy this new game, the town so. Bye.